Oh, I'm about the ball. Hey, it's your boy Wavy Cali back for another video, man. Y'all know what's going on. Before y'all even watch the video, like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? Turn your post notifications on as well. You dig? But look, I know y'all see the beard coming in, man. Mm -hmm. I look rough as hell, but who cares? Anyway, this story time is about the time I got jumped by about 30 dudes, bro. No cap. Y'all know dudes out here do not be fighting fair. You feel me? They jump me, boy. They beat the, the crap out of me. I ain't going to lie. Like, they almost Damn. put me to sleep. It was this close to putting me to sleep. I ain't going to lie to you. You feel me? They, they was beat they was beat my ass. You feel me? But listen, let's get into the story. So, I was like in some little program, right? When I was about 17, my mom sent me away. You know, we got into it type stuff. So, <clears throat> she sent me to some place down south. Um, if you don't know, it's called Job Corp. That's the little thing I was in. But I graduated high school. I just graduated and I didn't want to go to college that semester. So, my mom sent me there to get a trade, whatever, whatever. I didn't even know what Job Corp was to be to keep it a being with you. Um, but I found out, you know, it's for people who don't have a... um a diploma who go they usually go there for geds and things of that nature and i had a diploma i graduated at 17 but i guess my mom just wanted to send me there for some odd reason but i go there you feel me and i didn't know what the hell job corps was all i see is these dudes looking crazy like it's from ages i think 16 to 24 so you got grown dudes in there with with, with youngins like me and um i go in there right and a lot of people in there are in there because it was either go to jail or go to job corp. So you got some real knuckleheads there. You feel me? Like some real gutter dudes out there. You heard me? So I'm in, I'm in that job corp situation. This is my third day, by the way. I didn't know anybody. So I'm on mail two. It was three mail dorms. I'm on mail two. So I'm walking up there. I'm in my little, you know, little sanction. And a dude come up to me, a group of dudes said, hey, bro, you was talking about male two. You was talking about male three, better than male two or some BS like that. I was like, bro, I don't even know what you talk about, bro. They was like, nah, we heard what you said, bro. I was like, bro, I'm, this is my third day here. Basically, they was just trying to pick, they was trying to pick on me because I was alone. I, I guess I was the small fry to them. And I was a little dude back then. Like, I didn't even hit my growth spurt till I was 21. So back then, I was like five. I was like five, nine, five, ten. I'm six one now. So I wasn't as like big either. I was skinny as hell. So I'm like, damn, bro. Like, what are you talking about? So I, I know the signals. Like everybody know the signals when it's be about to be an end moment. I can't say what I want to say on here because YouTube be tripping. But you know what an end moment is. You know when it's finna be a you know an end moment. So I see a dude coming to me. He pulling up his britches. You know, he pulling his pants up. And I was like, oh, damn. Then I see a circle around me. I don't even know what's going on. I'm like, bro, what is Fentu going on? So I'm looking at everybody's eyes, and I see the look of demons. I see straight demons. I see straight the, 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 the Satan himself. I just see demons in their eyes. Everything just seemed demonic. The pressure and the air got thicker. I could barely breathe. Gravity started to have me levitate. I just knew that this was not going to end well for me. I knew that my head was most likely going to get knocked off like baseball practice i just knew that, that I, I was probably gonna go to sleep this is gonna be ufc 2020 but it was gonna be 30 versus me 23 and me they was gonna knock my damn head off you feel me so when i see the dude pull up his pants like my dad always tell me you get the first hit don't let them hit you first you get the first hit so i'm here by myself i'm just looking around you feel me i'm looking boom hit the old hit boy right in the hit old boy right in the jaw boom i, I mean clean hit he went like this, damn near knocked him out. So when I'm aiming on him, fa, 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 I'm quick with these two. These are quick. That's why I got these scars. These, oh, I'm about the balls. These are quick. So I'm pa, 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 pa. Somebody pick me up, slam me. Somebody pick me up like from the back. Like, you know how somebody just bam me like that? Bam me. So when he did that, I just see people just pa, pa, just beating my ass, bro. Stomping me, all type of stuff. So I grab one dude's leg, got him on the ground with me, and I'm hitting him like this. Just elbow him. Just elbow what I learned off UFC. Just elbow him. Just elbow him. Because I, I know how to fight, bro. Like, I had to fight all the time in school, bro. You know, when you light skin, people think you soft, so you have to fight. You, I had to learn how to fight, especially going to school in the hood. So I'm just elbow him. Mm, mm, mm. Then I see old boy running with them Tims. Well, I'm telling you, when you see them Tims, everything was in slow motion. All I, I was feeling them punches, but they were slow. Everything was coming slow, but I see the dude running with the Timbs, and he was a dreadhead, and he had gold teeth, because I was on the border of Georgia and Florida, so it was a lot of Florida boys there. So I see him running with them Timbs on. I braced for impact. I put my hand up like this. I felt that. Boom! 
super mega dome kick. I mean, this was some FIFA type shit. That boy kicked me so damn hard, bro. Everything went, it went black for a good little 2.5 seconds. I was, oh snap, like my, my brain was knocked around in my head a little bit. And my arm was in the way. So I can only imagine if he hit straight temple, I probably wouldn't be here today to tell y'all this story. So he just keeps stumping my head in, bro. He's like really trying to do that. Then I see the dude with the Air Force Ones coming. I'm like, oh, damn, man, it was black. So I knew this was going to be brutal as well. Stumping my head in. Nobody's breaking this up. This goes on for at least three to five minutes, but it felt like an eternity of me getting my head bashed in. Um, I mean, I was getting east side stumped. I was getting kicked around like I was a softball or something. I'm just, I'm just getting a kickball, man. I'm just getting, you know, beat. But then uh, RA finally came and broke it up, and I'm limping. I'm bruised up. I mean, it's just a terrible experience. If I would have had that fire on me, oh, God, if I would have had that fire on me, everybody would have been lit up. And to this day, if I see any of them dudes from, from over there, I'm popping you in your mouth. I remember at least what 67 of 80 of y'all look like. I'll pop you straight in your mouth. So remember this face. If you see me, you better be on the lookout because no cap, I'm going to pop you right in your damn mouth, and I'm going to be deep. You're not going to be deep as I am. I'm going to be deep, and I'm going to have it on me. So just be careful. You feel me? Like, remember this face. I don't, I, 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 I forgive but i don't forget actually i don't forgive because i want your head on the swivel but hey man make sure y'all like